Hello, this is me, uh, playing the Outer Worlds. Just a quick introduction for my brother so you can see it. New game. Alright, this is all the other things I need to get my glasses. Oh well, forget about it for right now. Okay, so enemies have more health, do more damage, you must eat, drink, and sleep to survive. Companions can die permanently. Crippled body and limb condi conditions can only be healed with bed rest. Weapons and armor work very poorly at zero durability. You can only fast travel to your ship, you can only sleep inside your ship, you can only manually save while inside your ship, and auto saves are limited. I'll show you just how much of a pain in the ass it says sleep subtitles on and you can use either mouse or the uh, Xbox controller I prefer the Xbox controller Oh yeah, the mic is recording as I'm playing. This is an edited post-op. None of that bullshit. I'm not care about monetization. Like I said, I'm just doing this for my brother. And, uh... Because he likes it when I game. It reassures him that I'm do doing mentally well. Okay, so and this part, I have another file, Supernova, where I went like this. But that was to uh, for dialogue options to get bonus experience. But this one, I'm going for uh, survival. So. I want to go with this. Hack is pretty good. It allows you to sell shit to uh, vending machines or buy restricted items like lockpicks. Lockpicks are so hard to find. Yeah, I have to get level that up first. Uh, okay, so. Oh, I got one more point remaining. That's great. Having the uh, faction reputation uh, up is good because it will reduce how much money it costs to buy stuff. I mean, on the easier difficulties you get lots of bits, but I don't know how it's going to be on Supernova. And, uh... There are charm uh, dialogue options that pop up, but I might go for a different route. If there was something that did hack and lockpick, uh, I would go for that. Actually, let me just... Nah, 
charismatic enough to give the chairman a run for his bits. Okay. Hack the lock pick. If you wanted to steal from the rich, you come to the right colony. And get all these up to the paper on breeding a sister pig with thirty percent more tumors. <laughs> yeah, they they eat the tumors of the fucking sissy pig. Uh, it's basically a pig with cancer all up up its ass. Okay, this one I'm going for damage reduction like I did the last one. And, uh, safety inspector. But this one I'll, I'll just janitor. Let's do mail. And we're gonna actually random dies until we get something we like. Don't mind that so much, but the uh whoopsie. But the facial hair has got to go. Alright, no. Alright, that's fine with me. Name. Kador the janitor. Ah, damn it, they didn't rhyme like I wanted it to. Okay. And then, yeah, every 20 points you unlock a special perk. That's why I went with the uh, medical engineering. It was just so that I get. I can repair my weapons and armor in my inventory. I can tinker with my shit to uh, make it better. It costs money to do that. Not much, but it, cre it cre doubles basically every time you do it. And uh, now I can have two things. That's not really a concern of mine. But it can come in handy later on. With the hack, having that up, a lot, I can sell shit to the vending machines. So vending machines are the majority of shops you're going to encounter are vending machines. So the next thing I'm going to do is it's going to take me two levels, but I'll get the uh, hack up to uh, 40. So I can buy lock picks from them, and then uh, from there, I'm either gonna work on my uh, my dialogue options, or I'm gonna work on my uh, uh, my science. Yeah, I'll get that up. The tinkering cost reduced by fifty percent. Yeah. That's a nice one, but first the hack needs to come up. Then I'll do the uh, science, and then I'll work on uh, persuasion. Uh, I'll get this up because uh, I can do special attacks with the companions, which can come in handy in life and death situation. A panic button, uh, and then this one, you, when you use your meds, it also heals your companions as well, since so they can die permanently. It is uh need be so first hack then I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna do this just two points real quick uh, I'm gonna do two points to this to sneak hack or four points rather get the lock pick up there and then I'm gonna do uh, two points to the uh, dialogue this this actually has uh, battle characteristics like machines will turn on each other Humans will cower, beasts will flee if your uh, dialogue skills are up. Okay. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. I don't know, being saved by a mad scientist. I don't, don't see how that's lucky. Give me a second, my brother's calling. Hey, Roman. I'm recording a uh, 
a video of me playing the Outer Worlds and I'm talking over the mic and I got a webcam up too so I'm gonna upload that so you can can watch it yeah uh, I'm, I'm just recording it yeah uh, yeah, so I could do this. It's probably gonna be like a half hour video before, and I'll call you back. Oh, All right. You know, Doc, you were about to launch me this escape pod while I was unconscious to somebody I have never met before. Well, I was saying, you say it's the lucky day being saved by a mad scientist? Yeah, think twice about that. Just about to drop me unconscious into God knows what. Yeah, he's the good guy. <laughs> Yeah, you can skip the cutscenes, but you can't skip dialogue in this. You know, like in Fallout, you can just spam an A button or whatever. X. Forgive me if I die a lot, because that this is the hardest difficulty is bound to happen. Adreno, that's your uh, first aid stuff. You, you, everything you use is uh, first aid or chemicals or whatever you you turn into it an inhalant and you just breathe in the gas even uh chips and stuff oh unless you're actually using it without the uh hot key button i'll show you like uh blah 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 see because my skill is so high i could already put a second thing in here like a food item or something 
but I'm not gonna worry about that until I have a lot of another food item because I'd hate to be reliant on something being there and it's not and then all of a sudden I'm dead here let me show you like this is the uh, thing Uh, when you see dialogue options, it's best to do them most of the time. Some of the times it'll do stupid stuff, but it gives you experience. We're talking about the uh, smuggler ship. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go hunt down this legally grounded ship person. I want to go steal that fucking ship. This is a uh, lockpick, and food is important in this difficulty specifically. Okay. You know, you might want to shoot these things, but it'll alert the uh, mar marauders out there, and uh, later on, those things will attack you sometimes. And that's vats, basically. Sneak, 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 sneak. Yeah, and I can't save like I want to right now. Uh, in an early game, they want you to waste your lock picks on stupid shit, but. Once I get the uh, unrestricted stuff and I start making some fucking money, I can have all the hot lock picks I want. But I'm not gonna waste it on this shit right here. I think all that's really in there is a different kind of melee weapon instead of the, the saber. When it knocks people back or down or something. Not that I want to get in melee. One, two. Bitch, fucking pussy. I have another, like I said, I have another file where I've done this before, so I'm a little bit more prepared. And I, I haven't actually beat the game on any uh, difficulty yet. I got pretty far into normal difficulty, but. I, I was just interested to supernova. Like I said, this is mainly for uh, my brother, so you can see what I'm doing. 
I I have uh, episodes that land me in a mental hospital, and he relates my stability to uh, me playing games. It keeps me focused on one thing instead of me spazzing out about hackers and the voices in my head. <laughs> What's that? Sacrifice the children? Yes, master. How many? Five. You hacks too much. You hacks not enough. <laughs> No, I just play. <laughs> These people. I just want to get on that ship so I can save my game, and then uh, this is gonna be it for the video. Um, you. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your heads down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders scrambling about. Really? How is he? Yeah, you say you help him with the pain, he gets in trouble. I I never really dove into the consequences, but. But he had specifically told you he's not supposed to accept help from uh, other people. So, alright. Yes, I will give you a zero, of my customer satisfaction. He's gonna be fucking laminated. <laughs> Here we go. All right. If you let them get all the kills, you don't get experience. So. Oops, I killed him. Oh well. That's why I got all those points of the charm. My my reputation won't won't get like okay, let's see. We uh go to character reputation. Still neutral. Only four percent for killing somebody. See? See that's why you get points like that. I'll walk up in this bitch. Save my motherfucking game. Let's see, there's my two other files. One level 22, one level 3. 